the normal crew rotation on space station is getting to be a right around six months. Uh, you know, crews will sometimes be a little shorter to that, but it's a unique opportunity in that the crews do stay for months at a time. As we all know, when you put a human into a gravity-free environment, it's a new environment for the body, and the body is a very plastic thing and adjusts. And uh, so your bones start to lose bone mass. Additionally, your muscles also become weaker because you're not using them every day to fight gravity as you do here. And even your ability of the body to control itself from a sensory motor standpoint, like how your brain controls the actions of your body, has all been developed against a gravity environment. When that goes away, your motions have to be basically reset. The entire human research program that NASA is currently working with was very carefully reviewed to focus the efforts uh, during ISS on answering constellation-related problems, answering exploration-related problems. For example, we are actively looking at pharmacological countermeasures to bone loss, to exercise and nutrition as countermeasures to both bone and muscle loss, and specific types of training for the crew to help manage their sensory motor problems. And so station is a unique opportunity to look at both how the human changes during that time and how, as a support organization, you have to adjust and support those people to allow them to function when they get to the place they're going to go.